Hello, fourth grade. Welcome to week 15 of our Number Talk video series. Uh, this week we will be focusing on number line and specifically where fractions fall on a number line in relationship to a beginning and ending number. So if we look at this first one, I like to think of it as a unit bar. So I think it helps me break it down fractionally better, and that's, again, this is my personal preference. So if I say, well, I'm going to break that in half, we know half is 1. Now, they're not asking me to find the number 1, but I think that's a nice gauge to at least help me recognize proportionally how everything breaks up on my number line. So at 1 half, then I'm saying to myself, well, they want me to find the number 1 half, so... What if I break it in each one of these bars in half? So there's my one half. There's my one and one half. Now, it's asking me to find one and one fourth, three fourths, and three eighths. Well, let's do one at a time. So let's look at the. Three fourths. Right? Would fall here. 1 and 1 fourth would fall here. Now we're still not done because we still have something with the 8's. So if we look at the 8's, we're looking at 3 8's. So that one breaks down rather smoothly um, because obviously 2, 4, and 8 all, all go into each other evenly um, and allows our chunks to be broken down. Let's look at the next problem where it's a little bit different because now we have it out of one half, one sixth, two thirds, eleven twelfths, and five sixes. Okay? So I'm going to actually start, and, and instead of breaking it down slowly, I'm actually going to go ahead and break up this whole number into 12 parts because we're going from zero to one. So I'm going to automatically break it into 12 parts. So, by looking at the 12 parts, now I can start to say, well, okay, I have to find, they're asking me to find 1 half. So, 1 half is the same as, okay, sorry about that, 1 half is the same as 6 twelfths. So, I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so, roughly, that's where my one half falls. Now, the next one is one sixth. So now we can come back and say, well, there is my one. Sixth. Now be careful. If you make that mistake, remember, it's zero to one half. That's not one sixth. We know one sixth is the same as two twelfths. So that would not be one sixth. I actually just marked one twelfth. So be careful that you don't make that same mistake, okay? Um, remember, it's 1 sixth is the same as 2 twelfths. And let's look at how that works. Because if I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there's 6. So every two bars would give me a cross. So 1 sixth is the same as 2 twelfths. Um, just because I've seen that error happen. Then we have 2 thirds. Well... Oh, wait a second. We do have a 5, 6. Let's go ahead and find our 5, 6 before we get there. Now, when we think of our 2 thirds, again, 2 thirds is the same as 8 twelfths. Okay? Or we can think about it as grouping it in groups of 4. So we have those 4 boxes. We have those four boxes, and we have the last four. So, when we think about where, where that falls, two-thirds falls right there. Or it falls at, like we said, eight twelves. Okay? Then, we still haven't found eleven twelves. Well, there's twelve total unit bars here. So, there's eleven twelves. So, 
I'm hoping this gave you a little guidance in terms of, you know, one of the ways you could you could look at the number line to help you understand where the fractions fall. Um, please, 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 if you're confused by this, um, please see, you know, one of your fourth grade teachers. Um, if not, come see me. Um, but we definitely want to support you with this because as we start to actually work more with fractions in terms of operations, um, this foundation is important. Thanks.